China is about to open its latest mega project, the world's longest sea bridge. The 55-kilometre road is slashing travel times between Hong Kong, Macau and the mainland, but it's not without controversy and challenges, as China correspondent Bill Bertels reports. When it comes to scale and ambition, few countries can match China. And this bridge over one of the world's busiest waterways is its latest engineering marvel. We've been given access ahead of the official opening. After more than eight years of construction, the first cars are ready to cross. At the peak of construction, there were about 14,000 workers building this bridge and 300 ships. It was an extraordinary construction site. The Pearl River Delta is home to roughly 60 million people. If the densely populated cities around this waterway were combined, it would be the world's biggest metropolis. And that's the long-term thinking from China's government in linking Hong Kong to Zhuhai and Macau. The cities have different road rules, so that will initially affect the number of cars. At first it will be about 10,000 per day, but eventually that will rise. Some critics in Hong Kong fear the city's freedoms will further erode as it becomes more integrated with the mainland. A more practical problem is a flight path for an international airport cutting right across the bridge. Height restrictions meant engineers had to build a six-kilometre tunnel. Engineering feats like this one showcase China's drive to be an infrastructure superpower. And under its Belt and Road plan, Beijing wants to build ambitious projects throughout Asia and beyond. But over here, it's all about speeding up the flow of people and goods. And when this bridge opens, that's exactly what will happen. Bill Bertels, ABC News in the Pearl River Delta, southern China.